All right, trying to go live here. Just a second, waiting for the red line. It should be live now. Okay, should be live. Welcome to Just Curious Media. This is Let's Talk Movies, and I'm Jason Connell. On the show today, I'm talking about an interview with Bud S. Smith. So I'm talking about this interview to set it up, but I did meet with Bud December 2020. We had a wonderful conversation. And if you don't know the name, Bud is a, an editor extraordinaire, two-time Oscar-nominated editor. He worked on films like The Exorcist, The Karate Kid, To Live and Die in L.A., Flashdance, and many, many more. He was nominated for The Exorcist and Flashdance. Didn't win, but nominated. However, he did win a BAFTA award for best editing of Flashdance. So the reason I reached out to Bud was this. I was working on To Live and Die in L.A. for this particular show, our third episode. And I was doing cast and crew research and came across his name, realized he lived or was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that was it. I was like, at some point in time, I've got to talk to Bud. So that time came late 2020. And I kind of held the interview until we finished the first 10 episodes of Let's Talk Movies. So we did that. And I've released a couple of interviews the last two weeks, Dabney Coleman and John Kapolis. Now those were much more archived interviews, but this was more recent. There's no movie clips, insertions, or transitions, but a wonderful conversation. We talk about Bud's career. We really get into Live and Die in LA because not only was he an editor, he was second unit director, second unit director and supervising film editor and a co-producer, I should say. Sorry. So he has lots to say about the movie, the chase scenes and all these things that make the movie so great. And also beyond uh, working with Friedkin on To Live and Die in LA and The Exorcist, he works he worked with freaking on like five, six other movies. We kind of quickly brush over those, but they had this relationship that went way back, which is incredible. So if that wasn't enough, another reason I wanted to speak with Bud as well as share this interview with everyone else is that he was the editor on The Karate Kid. Come on. I mean, we do a show called Let's Talk Cobra Kai. My initial thought was like, oh, I'll just take that little bit and put it over there and put it on Let's Talk Cobra Kai. Everything we talk about, the Karate Kid, of course, the great John G. Avildsen film. Well, he was associate producer on that editor. And but I didn't want to do that. The more I got in, into the interview, I realized it should just be intact. And so we're going to release it here, the entire thing. And then we go over just a few other movies that he worked on, including his directing debut. He also worked with Sam Raimi on Dark Man, helped save that movie, he says. Okay, he was editor and supervising editor on that. But uh, on a bigger note and a lot more personal level, Bud shared with me that he had overcome throat cancer a few years ago. And in doing so, he lost like half of his tongue and they had to replace his jaw. So his voice is different. I mean, I only know it this way, but you know, he tells me it's just harder for him to speak. And then here it's obviously very hard for him to eat. It's like a soup diet or smoothies. But you know, when I got on the phone with him, I, you, can, you can definitely hear him and you can understand him. You just have to kind of focus. But I was a little nervous at first, like, wow, this is a long interview. But you know what? The more we edited and I went through this, it, it's great. And I hope that um, it resonates with everybody out here everything that he's done for us in the world of film, but just what he overcame on a personal level. So uh, for all you YouTube livers, unfortunately, you're going to have to download the podcast version to hear the interview with Bud S. Smith. There was no way to kind of insert it here, but I will tell you this, it is well worth your time. So please enjoy my conversation with Bud S. Smith. So thank you so much for listening, and please be sure to subscribe to the Let's Talk Movies podcast, as well as the Let's Talk Movies YouTube live channel. You can also really help us by giving the show a five-star rating on Apple Podcast. And for all you listeners that enjoy sharing your thoughts, you can leave us a review on Apple Podcast, send us a direct message, or post a comment on any Let's Talk Movies social media platform. We also highly recommend checking out our other podcast and visiting justcuriousmedia.com. 